Hello, this is uh, Patrick with OnLearningPoint.com. Uh, today we're going to upgrade our Moodle installation from 2.2 to 2.3. Uh, there's uh, quite a few new enhancements uh, that have come out, um, and uh, you may be wondering how you're going to upgrade your site. Uh, the first thing I did is go out to the uh, great instructions that uh, Moodle.org uh, provided. Um, you, you can see uh, right now I have the document open. Uh, this is on how to upgrade the to 2.3. 2 uh, the directions are uh, very uh, well written and are very clear. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to follow along. Uh, the difficulty is, um, for some people, uh, is the how you're going to upgrade the site. Uh, the easiest way, uh, according to these directions, instructions are to use the command line and um, having gone through it once before I, I agree the command line is pretty easy to use um, but some people may not be familiar with the command line and so these instructions may help uh, a little bit on uh, how to get started uh, because there is so many different steps uh, to this I'm going to break these videos into different parts um, there's probably no way that uh, I would be able to smoothly go through the entire uh, upgrade process uh, without practicing it a little bit, and then uh, that may, might make for a pretty boring video. So I'll try to keep this one, uh, each one, pretty short, um, and then be able to upgrade uh, it in stages. Uh, so the first thing you'd want to do is uh, pull up this document here. Uh, by going out to this URL, uh, I'm guessing when 2.4 uh, comes out that um, there will be uh, there's a 2.4 here uh, so you'll be able to go to the, the next one um, we're just going to go straight down right into the content itself um, the most important uh, thing that you do before upgrading any site is making sure that you have everything backed up um, there's two components that you would want to back up uh, actually there's three uh, there's the actual Moodle document itself that's that lives on your site, uh, the Moodle data uh, as well as and then also your SQL database. Um, for the purposes of this video, we'll be doing the SQL database separately um, and just really showing you the command line stuff. Um, so the first thing you probably want to do, uh, especially particularly around a production site. Um, there's a couple different approaches uh, that you could use. One is to just go ahead and upgrade it uh, by putting the site into maintenance mode. Um, if this is a, a very busy site or if you have a lot of customizations and a lot of different um, uh, different uh, themes and files and, and maybe some maybe a large database, uh, I would probably suggest that you do uh, a dry run uh, for your upgrade before actually doing it, which would involve uh, creating a copy of your entire database um, and site uh, and then testing the, the upgrade from there. Uh, these still these same steps that we'll be taking uh, will apply. Uh, you would just need to do a couple extra steps by creating a, a complete copy of your site. The first thing you'd want to do is move your old Moodle software into a complete into a different location. Uh, one thing that I did notice on the upgrade instructions was to not copy over old files. Um, this seems counterintuitive to me uh, because I've always done it that way, where you know one set of files uh, were superseded by the next set of files, and maybe you wouldn't get an entire copy of um, every file. You wouldn't get every file, uh, you would only get the ones that were changed in the new package. And so copying over would let you um, have a smaller package. Um, today, uh, with bandwidth being, and file space being what it is, that's no longer a consideration. And so I guess they have found that they've run into more issues by not copying, uh, by, by uh, merging directories rather than just completely uh, wiping the old one out and, and starting with a new one. So for those reasons, uh, we're going to uh, follow their directions. Um, and uh, you can see here, uh, the, uh, the next step would be to uh, unzip the new one. We're going to copy our config.php file, and we're going to uh, reconfigure the plugins directory. 
Uh, I don't have a lot of plugins on the site, uh, so it'll be uh, pretty straightforward. Here you can see what they sh they show us uh, how to actually copy all the files um, directly on the command line, and this is how we're going to uh, to do it. Uh, there's a few uh, extra little steps that I'm going to show you uh, that makes it a little bit easier as far as getting the uh, the correct software uh, downloaded on directly to your server, uh, but we'll do that in a different module. So for this section right now, we're just going to back up the server. So there's two different ways that you can do that. Uh, you can see here that I have two different types of software. Uh, we have uh, PuTTY and also WinSCP. So WinSCP is uh, nice. Uh, it'll allow you to uh, use a uh, command line, or I'm sorry, not the command line, uh, but a GUI and uh, show you each of the uh, files just like in a Windows Explorer view. So this is my site here. My uh, site is onlearningpoint.com. Um, and it would be easy to uh, just move this uh, file uh, into a new new area. Uh, I'm not going to do this uh, in this case uh, because I want to show you also on the command line how to do it. Um, another way of doing this would have been uh, should I uh, the thing that's a little bit different with my site that you may not run into, you may have uh, only uh, Moodle configured on your entire site, whereas I have other uh, domain names um, on here. And so what you would want to do is uh, on your Moodle directory, just rename it to uh, Moodle, uh, under, dot, uh, Moodle underscore backup or something along those lines. And you could easily do that here. Uh, the other method I would like to show you, uh, which is going to be a little more, uh, a little more typing involved, is uh, using PuTTY. And so PuTTY you can download from the web uh, pretty easily. Uh, here we're going to run uh, PuTTY. Uh, we're going to connect to our site. Uh, type in your your login name. I'm going to hide this so you don't uh, need, need to know what it is. And now we can see that we are logged in. So uh, now we're going to um, go back to our instructions uh, and we're going to issue this command into our directory, which I will do now. So we'll do a move on learning points.com to on learning. Uh, we're going to be moving this to on learning points dot com. Uh, actually, I'm just going to call it underscore um, um, underscore backup. And there we go. Now we've uh, now we've created a backup directory for our all our content. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, the in the next section, uh, we will I will show you how to download a copy of the software directly to your server, uh, making it uh, much easier uh, using a great little command line utility. Actually, let's do this. I will show it to you right now. We are coming up at the nine minute mark. Uh, we have one minute left. Um, that should be uh, completely sufficient to, to do that. So in order to uh, get uh, the most recent copy of the, uh, of the software onto our server, uh, what we'll need to do is go and get a, um, the URL to the Moodle package. Um, and to do that, you just go to Downloads and Standard Moodle Packages. The current uh, build, uh, you want to do the TJZ um, file or um, download. Uh, this is the easiest one for uh, tarring and untarring on the server. Uh, you could zip, but then you would need to go into the uzip utility, and um, I'm less familiar with uh, how to use that. You would click on the download button here. 
and then it's going to start showing you how it'll start uh, downloading. So we don't want it to actually download it here, and so as this come up, as this comes up, we're just going to cancel it. Now you see where it says use this direct link. What I'm going to do is actually going to copy that link and uh, get the URL to that link. So if I were to paste that in here you can see that it's a nice long uh, download link. Going back to our command line, we're going to use a utility called wget, which is webget, and then, and then do a right click, which will paste the URL for the download location. Pressing enter, we'll start downloading the software. And this is going to download um, in just a couple minutes. Uh, once it's on the server, uh, we're going to unzip it. Uh, so I'm going to um, end the uh, video here. Um, and um, we'll uh, check out the next uh, section for uh, when we unzip it and actually do the installation. Oh, and uh, the database backup as well. Uh, let's not forget that.